Is it possible to reproduce large orchestral music at home? Okay, that's a good question, and it's from Jan in Denver, Colorado, right around the corner from us. Hi, Paul. Can a high-end system reproduce the soundstage and impact of a large symphonic performance or not? My reference is a performance I heard of Beethoven's Fifth in Verizon Hall in Philadelphia. I have a modest system, an Onkyo SACD player, an exposure integrated 75 watt per channel amplifier, and Wharfdale speakers. And it's uh, an all and a sub. And it's in a room that's about 40 feet by 30 feet. That's a big room, man. Uh, good job, Jan. I sit about eight feet from the speakers, and with this setup, pop, chamber music, and jazz sound really good. So I think my setup is correct. But large orchestral works like Beethoven, Mahler, or Wagner are missing the huge soundstage and impact, even with the volume turned up. I've tried numerous recordings, uh, Karajan, uh, uh, I can't pronounce, I can't remember how to pronounce it, Von Karen? Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, Berlin, Kleiber, the Vienna. So I don't think it's the recording. Is it possible to reproduce that impact at home or is this a futile request? Thanks for your advice, Jan. It's, it's a tough question. One of the hardest things for a speaker, stereo, two-channel system to do is to accurately and faithfully reproduce loud sound and it takes a lot to do it can it do it yes if you you're in denver take the time come visit us and i'll play for you a symphonic piece on the infinity irs5 now is it exactly the same well no because look if you're sitting row three in Boston Symphony Hall or row 20 in Boston Symphony Hall, which is hundreds of feet big, and you have a sound source in there, there's no way that it's going to fool you. Uh, and if you close your eyes, you know you're in that space. And what you hear, it, it, it's going to be obvious to you that, that there's a big orchestra and it's not a stereo system. Okay? Now, one of the ways that our ears and our brain detect this compression, is what I'm going to call it, of the, the, the highs, is that it's not linear. So when you're listening to your small groups, as they get louder or they get softer, it's, it's rather linear. So a, a horn blat or a xylophone whack or something that's happening, carries forward in a way that your ear says, uh-huh, that makes sense. It's going from the, lo the softest to the loudest, and that kind of makes sense. But when we have an, orchest an orchestra with a 50-piece or a 100-piece orchestra or a choir getting big, the amount of space that takes to envelop us in the sound uh, is far larger than most rooms and far greater than most systems can accurately reproduce well. So, let's see if I can give you an example. It's, it's, this is one of the things that I'm, I'm rather passionate about because compression is something that's so obvious to our brains and very few loudspeaker systems ever made uh, sound the same at their maximum loudness that they do at their minimum. And so if we were to look at it, you can see that, and this is true with speaker systems, with electronic systems, um, there's a sweet spot in, in kind of in the middle. So if this is the maximum dynamic range that's practical for your system, about this much of that is linear. As we start getting louder and as we start getting softer, it falls off in linearity towards the edges. What do I mean by linearity? Linearity is being the same in, in a linear progression so that it, from point A to point B, it's exactly the same. So for any given input, you know, the, the output is going to be a linear ramp. Um, so if it's 10 dB louder or it's 10 times louder, um, then it actually will be because what's actually happening is it's rolling off in terms of its compression. 
Compression happens because usually we're demanding too much from simple drivers. Um, they don't perform the same at their maximum excursion. And one of the reasons that the Infiniti IRS-5 is so capable of dynamics is because you have 12 mid-range drivers, you have uh, six woofers, you have 36 tweeters, and they're sharing the load. So in your system, you have one tweeter and maybe one mid-range that are trying to do the whole thing. In my system, my tweeters are doing 1 36th of the work your tweeter's doing. In my system, my mid-range is doing 1 12th the work that your mid-range is doing. So no matter how good your mid-range is, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna get out of its linear region pretty easily. So yes, if you have the right electronics, big amps, linear presentation, and a speaker system that divides up the duties in such a way that you can get unfettered amplitude up to about 120 dB down to quite a bit lower, which I know your Wharfdales don't do, and your Onkyo certainly, it, your equipment just isn't capable of doing it. But yes, it can be done. It is not something that is uh, unworthy of, of trying. It, it can be done, but it ain't easy. All right. Thanks. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.